<laughs> yeah, yeah. He had it in his trailer in Quasi. No way. He put a bidet in his trailer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get into the video. Are you guys not going to Chicago? I no, we're, no, we are we are uh, New York. Well, I'm a New York boy. He's a Boston boy. We're staying put. I remember Boston. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was there pressure to go there or no? Um, or do you, no. Do you well, I mean, I, it was never in the cards for me. I'm a New York guy, like yeah, through and through. Um, I also we're more like doing the stand up comedy. Road. Not we're not doing stand up. Yeah. We, you know, a lot of our show is comics and whatnot. So New York makes a lot more sense for us. Yeah. Um, but the uh, yeah. what's going to happen here? Is it going to empty out or what's going to I think they'll probably trim, it'll trim out a little bit, but um, I think we were kind of overcrowded as is, so I think there's a lot of people that'll have more space to operate here in New okay. York and hopefully so you're happy flourish you. a little yeah. bit. <laughs> oh, I, I, this really? is for us, it's kind of like, yeah, like we have more room, we have less, you know, people to deal with, we have... I the man's so. not cracking down on you? Yeah, no, not really. I mean, we, we, yeah, he's <laughs> okay. He's gone. gone. Yeah. Okay. He's in the middle of a race war right now. <laughs> Just fighting people on the internet all day. Yeah. The uh, the Angel Reese thing. Yeah. Oh, did he did he uh, oh, weigh in on that? He dove head first into that oh, one. Oh, he did. And whose side did he take? Uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> the the Iowa side or the he LSU was, side? He, I, I do. His reasoning is he was like he's like I I bet on Iowa. I yeah, lost he lost. Bet. He would have won a two hundred fifty grand. Know. If, oh, no if shit. LSU lost and they won, so he does not like them. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah, okay. I mean, that was that's the internet at its worst, man. You're yeah. you're from Connecticut, right? I'm from Connecticut. Are yeah. you a Yukon guy? I am a Yukon guy, but like, um, congratulations. Uh, yeah, I guess. they had a good one. I watched it last night. I mean, yeah. I, you know, but I, I I stopped kind of following Yukon basketball. But my dad is a huge Yukon guy, but he he watched the girls like way more than the guys. That's so yeah. weird. That's yeah. that was the only other time you know women are having their moment now. Yeah, but Yukon women's was. Uh, well, my dad was like four hardcore. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, he comes from an era where the game was below the rim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, what he likes. That's how they play. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that is a big time old white guy <laughs> sort of like, it's it's the passing is crisp and the fundamentals are great. <laughs> like, well, yeah, yeah. New balances and tube socks. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, to, you know, see kind of a guy like that, like, he's like, you know, defending, you know. Yeah, it's the, very the women's it's, team. It's, you're like, it's funny to. It's like, hey, the Giants are on. I don't care. <laughs> UConn's in the thing. The thing. You're like, okay, all it's right. very backwards. You I, I'm it. not a big basketball guy, so I watch very little and, and even yeah. less college basketball. But I watched this weekend. Basically, I watched the games. And last night, I was like, there is a noticeable lack of Caitlin Clark in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like, care about this game deal. way more if Caitlin Clark was in it. But it this. wasn't much of a game, any. I mean, no. it was like, you know, it was over when it started. Well, it? that's the problem when you have the Cinderella's make it yeah. deep. I guess so. Yeah. I, you know, God bless them. I, 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 mean, I watched UConn less college basketball. I mean, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UConn, yeah. and they're, they're a storied program. UConn yeah, yeah. could be a 16 yeah. seed, but sure. th people know they UConn. Have a good run. Yeah. Ain't nobody give a shit about San Diego State. Sorry, boys. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. great run and all that, but you just yeah. don't have the, 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 history the history and the, all that. Yeah. And that's what college yeah. basketball is. But really that was the, the excitement on. of them being there. But it was like they would get within like seven and people would be going crazy. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But it was like, it was never. The, the I actually perfect... turned off. There was an ad for a TV show for Rabbit Hole, uh, yeah. which um, I watch. And uh, Rabbit Hole? It's the Keeper Sutherland one. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Shout yeah, out yeah, to Keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they put an ad in the middle of the game. They were like, check out Rabbit Hole. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's right. There was a new episode last night. And it pulled you away. So I, so I, <laughs> <laughs> Advertising, it works. It really works. <laughs> I put that on. That's, that's and then I was still kind of messing around on Twitter. And people were like, oh, it's a game now. Mm -hmm. And by the time I turned the game on 30 it seconds later, it was like 15 points again. I was like, what are you yeah. talking about? The, You're the dream, my keeper for this? The dream tournament is... Cinderella's make it to the Elite Eight, right. and then the Final Four is all like ones and two Which seats. Which is kind of usually, you know. Yeah, yeah that's why there. it's you know yeah. usually great. But, uh, but this is why everyone's bracket was fucked. Like, yeah. From, from well, the beginning dude, I think the, like, I, I haven't year. filled out a bracket in a, long, in a while. Probably, I couldn't tell you when, but the... Uh, I saw like this year it was like after the first weekend there was zero crack brackets. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Once there was is, two, sure a fifteen and a sixteen is like. Uh, I'm sure there's good. a few people who picked UConn to win it. You know, yeah, yeah, at yeah, all, yeah. But I mean that that's Dan. You know, Dan, 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 Dan had, uh, uh, Big Cat, uh, one of the yeah, yeah, guys leading yeah. Chicago. He uh, put down five thousand uh, in January On 9th UConn? to win it all. One seventy five k. Holy shit! Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, a He's a Chicago guy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. What's he rooting for UConn for? Okay. So he's, he's a gambler he first. Just, I think okay. the, yeah, gambling, yeah, yeah, gambling knows no bounds. Yeah. Okay. Gambling is, you know, there's no allegiance to anybody anywhere other than the green. Okay. Responsibly, of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was, you know, we, we were just watching some of the trailers and some of the stuff out there on uh, Quasi. And 
March 20th. No, April 20th. March 20th. 420, bro. 420, bro. 420, uh, man. <laughs> that's marketing. That, yeah. That's advertising. Can I tell Work you something 69 about the 420? Work a 69 in there and we're good yeah. to go. I've recently gotten into the 420. It's legalized here. I never do illegal things. <laughs> I do the 420. got into the 420. You know, I got my The 420. Lingo. I got you. It is. We've talked about it before, but it is. It's chaos what it does to my eating. <laughs> like it's, it's. I'm crazy. so. I'm, all, I'm such I'm a rookie. I'm so stereotypical about it. I'm like, give me munchies, and I will yeah. eat anything in sight. It's ins- it's insane. I'll, I'll. I think there was one night recently where like I I live above a deli and I ordered food, like a like a DoorDash whatever, and then I was like, I don't have time to wait for this. So I went downstairs, got a sandwich. Okay. Then my DoorDash came and I ate that. Then I ordered another DoorDash. So I did two DoorDashes. Is a new thing for you? Like yeah. You're just discovering this? Yeah. I, I got, never really smoked. Like never well, oh, no, he's never I mean, in. he's been a disgusting piece of shit a lot. Yeah, right. But That's the weed the crazy is, thing. is now. It's, but the it's amount like, of food that you, you know. But yeah. I always ate a lot. Like, it's not like, like this sure. unlocked a part of my in brain. To perspective, this is him. Well, you, you were in Ohio yesterday, were you? No. Okay. This is him sober yesterday. His new thing. Like how you is, dragged that sober. Uh, well, because I feel, <laughs> when you say sober about weed, it feels yeah, weird, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, he is into dried mangoes right now. <laughs> and when I say into, he ate that Holy whole shit. bag last night. I, that's he, not like, but that's not like a, sto- listen, a stoner thing. No, but, but it's dried he mango. Had, he has 60 servings of mangoes in Holy a week. Holy shit. I, I said this last night. It's good for you. It's madness. good for you, man. I, 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 and, I and would, imagine if he's high. Forget it. I'd, I'd venture to guess I've eaten more mangoes in a week than 99% of the population is in their life. In their life. In the I American That's a weird stone food, though. I mean, you know. But that was sober. That was sober. Oh, that's sober. What's, what's even too. weirder? Is okay. he sober? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's... That's even fucking is weird. weird. I thought you were saying you did it because you. No, when I'm when I'm stoned, it's like a bear broke into my house. Like I'll wake up in the morning <laughs> sure. and the cabinets are open. The, there's like melted ice cream sure. on the floor. That's when I'm stoned. That's when I. What's, we what's we your, used to say when we were stoned, a uh, hundred baby chickens must die. <laughs> so because you, you get fifty wings, and that would be it. So a hundred baby chickens must die. How many baby chickens do you think you've eaten in your life? Oh, a wow. shitload. That's actually a great <laughs> high way. and not high. You know, we we have a, a question, and we'll do it after this okay. interview with France or the internet. And it's uh, uh, when if you die and you get up to the pearly gates, and you could ask. Uh, one you can have one statistic about your life, right? One number. How many? How much money did I make? How many beers did I drink? Whatever. Right. How many chickens did you? How many in chickens your died? Life for, yeah, <laughs> just for you alone. Yes. Because yeah. I mean, chickens are out here just getting so. Because sometimes, like, you're in a room with like five dudes and you order two hundred wings. That's, like, That's so many chickens. Fucking chickens. That's a lot of dead chickens, <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, factor in how many eggs we ate too. You know, I don't know where you stand on abortion, but that's, that's kind of. A, unbe- I mean, that's unbelievable. That's a lot of fucking a lot chickens. Of fucking that is the little chickens. Little little wings. I don't like the big one. The little ones. The uh, we had Steve-O on, and Steve-O was talking about that, that exact question, and his answer was, he's like, I'd like to know how many animals I saved in my life by being vegan and his activism and all that. Okay. We we're the exact opposite. opposite. Like, yeah. How many cows did I murder? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think you can calculate that if you're, you know, vegan. I'm saying, I mean, it's easier to figure out how many cows how I killed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a direct correlation. Cows, pigs, Add the ounces chickens. up. And <laughs> cows, pigs, and chickens. How many did you kill? <laughs> many. What's your... Uh, so, like, he's been eating... Tons of mangoes. I've been legitimately eating a pint of ice cream a night for probably nine straight really? months now. Uh, shout out to Hagen Dazs, Caramel Cone. Please send me free product. <laughs> I'm begging you because it's killing. You're wait, you're you're a pint a night, John. You're hassling me about night. my mangoes, and you're eating a pint a night. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you know I'm, I'm 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 telling the world because you know everybody's got their thing, at least the despicable ones. <laughs> Do you have any uh, anything disgusting like that? No, my, my you know Are I've you had despicable? this conversation. I'm not. Disp- I don't think I'm despicable, but I've had this conversation with my wife recently and Steve Lemmy, the guy I work with recently. And um, they asked if I could bring a food to an island. Mm-hmm. You know, like, what would I bring? Mm-hmm. And my answer, like, they are always flabbergasted. My answer is pretzels. What? And they think that's the fucking it's lamest the, well, thing. Well, it's also it's the not, worst thing. You're stranded. Right. You don't have water. Right. You're, fucking... like, you're talking about not, you know, like, tortilla chips, with like, Doritos. Yeah. And they're like, no, pretzels. I would bring pretzels. And they're like, what are you, fucking crazy? Are you and I'm like, talking... salty bread. Salty bread. <laughs> are we doing rods? Are we doing twisties? You're are we doing nuggets? Care. Are we doing... Any of them. You gotta have a, a preference, though. No. I like a good sourdough pretzel. Sourdough. Like sourdough. Yeah, krill. What about, what about soft versus I like soft. Soft is great. Soft pretzels. But, like, they think I'm a fucking lunatic. 
lunatic because I said I would. That is a pretty to a desert ridiculous island. choice. <laughs> but Just I eat a lot of pretzel, pretzel rods to get the, <laughs> the salt off. I get that fucking tub mm. from Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. boys, <laughs> big fucking. Mm. And I eat. I just power through that. <laughs> and that's not as sexy as mangoes. But, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't bring mangoes when I was pointing mangoes there. That's where I get them from. <laughs> from Costco, right? Yeah, yeah. The bag, yeah. right? The bag of dried mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get those too. Yeah, I don't eat them like you do. <laughs> no, nope, nobody in this world does, man. Uh, I, as you know, we we've been here now. We've been in this podcast for over on our eleventh year. Okay, been a I've bar done stool it three times. Three, three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, you I, are first post pandemic. I was, but that yeah. was remote. That was remote, but yeah, you were we were, uh, we were yeah. remote. Yeah. I remember that. But at, that was our, that was the one where that was funny because it was like you and Steve were in your houses and you were just like yeah. giving us a tour and I was like, oh, this is gonna this be, is gonna cool. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like Zooms do tours and then and then everyone's got a studio in their house now. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was less you know less sexy, right? Yeah. But I, I, uh, I remember that. Yeah, because we, we were promoting Super Trooper. No, no, Tacoma. Yeah, Tacoma. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, too, right? But yeah. even just you know being in the in the game for a little bit. Uh, I'm starting to, you know, we've been together longer and, and seen a lot of people come and go and all that. I mean, you guys have been a, a tight knit crew, yeah. consistently working with each other for a long time now. Yeah, you know, and I think going on thirty, twenty five or thirty, thirty. That's years? crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. So as long as we've been doing this, like times three, yeah. and you guys are still cool with each other, still pumping for out the good, most part. For yeah, the yeah, most you part, know, you're fights and shit. <laughs> do you guys do like? Do you guys have fights? I saw a clip recently um, of. Uh, Charlie Day and Rob McElhaney. Yeah. And they were talking. They were both kind of drunk. They were talking on their Always Sunny podcast. And the, I think it was a Christmas special. It was a uh, St. Patrick's Day special, whatever it was. And they were talking about, like, the fights they have. Yeah. Um, like, in the writer's room. It's not, like, friendship fights. But, like, yeah. like the how they go at each other. And it was a very interesting clip. It was, like, eight to ten minutes, something like that. And they were talking. They were like, "I want to fight right now. Like, we're not going to do it because we're on camera. Like, yeah. I want to fight with you right now. Like fist fight, or just kind of getting just an argument. arguing. And they, okay. and they were arguing over episodes because they've been doing it for the longest shit too. They were arguing over jokes in an episode like 15 years old. Mm-hmm. And they were like, "No, like Charlie was like, no, I still think we shouldn't have had that in there. Yeah, I yeah. still think this would have been funnier. Yeah. And they're like, kind of. Like, but it was getting, it was like tense. It was like, oh, really? oh boy, this yeah. is this is a little, this is a little something here. We going. do that sometimes. We you know, yeah, you definitely when you're younger, you did it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you get. <laughs> Dig your heels and shit. But we also have a um, God. I saw it recently. I'm going to talk about it. And you're going to want to see it, but I don't know how to show it to you. But uh, we had a fist fight between two of the guys um, in Boston, <laughs> and uh, it was we were promoting Super Troopers, and we were at a bar or whatever, and everyone got drunk, and it spilled out onto the street, and because uh, you know in Boston they shut the bars out at one o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Pussies. And so uh, JJ Foley's. They'll keep yeah, you. Old till, so till like three, one fifteen, we're, we're out on the street, and. Um, Jay Chandrasekhar and Eric Stolhansky, two of the guys, um, started getting into a little little shoving thing. And it started as a joke. As always it does, And yeah. then it turned into not a joke. Yeah. And, you know, the cameras were out. The things were out. We, were, we had a documentarian with us. <laughs> oh, your cameras. Was fucking filming. Yeah. I thought you meant, like, fans on their no, phones No, like, no. Like, we no. were shooting it. <laughs> oh, and, wow. Um, and we have the footage, like, of them. No way. Like, beating the shit out of each other. And, like, one of the guys, like, rubbing the guy on a fence. <laughs> like, outside of a bar. You know what I mean? <laughs> And uh, and every once in a while it'll pop up. And I'll tell you this, uh, Searchlight, uh, who we made the movie with, I think Jay turned over a bunch of videos to them recently for promotion. And he, I think, accidentally turned over that video. No. And then somebody watched no. it at Searchlight. And then Slohansky, who was the guy who got beat up, who got this face, you know, <laughs> he was like, I don't want that video to be seen. <laughs> I know. So wait, that was a time this, of a real fist fight. Public or no? That it's not. It's uh, out there or it not out there? Be, it's it, out there? It might be. It's out there for you guys. Out there. Well, because we, we we shot a documentary of that tour, and then it, it, like some of it went out as EPK stuff. Somewhere mm-hmm. it went out. Well, somewhere it might. You might be able to find it, but it's Chandler Zegger beating Stolansky up on the street in Boston, outside of a bar. Brother, Dude. you gotta. If that's not out there, you gotta know, we put gotta that out it. there. Yeah. Yeah. You put I, that I on the internet you. to promote the movie. Or yeah, know, the that, there, there's a guy who doesn't want it out there. Fuck him. You know how many videos I don't want out there myself? No, like, my whole career is don't put that out, but I got to put he that out. Li- he has some sort of control. Over well, it. Uh, you like, would. You're, so your face is getting yeah. rubbed against a, a yeah. fence while you're being physically assaulted? <laughs> <No>. Big deal, <laughs> dude. I know. I, 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 I love it. I love it, and I love to see it every time I see it. And, you know, to see it. <laughs> the chicken. I'd battle. like to be the people, like a fly on the wall. Yeah. At the brunch the next morning of people who walked by and like they're kind of just like rubbing their head, but like, I need a yeah. water and a bloody Mary. Like <laughs> walking home last night, I think I saw a broken lizard kicking yeah. the shit out of each other. And he's got like fence. <laughs> and the hand prints on the yeah. yeah. 
No, that, I, <laughs> my, that was the only. Re- I think that was the only real fist fight. But that was a, that was a legit fist fight. That's <laughs> fucking it's, hilarious. It's, it's like Boston inspires you. The, yeah. the, the last <laughs> fight I was ever mm-hmm. in, uh, hopefully, I it was like a bar scrap sort of thing. I have a friend who uh, is in a wheelchair. But he's also still very mouthy. Okay. And so <laughs> that's the worst. It's gonna get weird, now dude. Gonna I'm gonna weird. have to do this fight. Yes. <laughs> it's like when your girlfriend picks a fight for you. Except it's worse because he was funny and he was clever, so he would like kill these guys. And he'd be drunk and he'd be like, "What are you gonna do about it?" You know? And he's like, I'm gonna punch your friend. That's what I'm gonna do about it. So, but no, this one guy, uh, he started to kind of grab him by the collar, and then you know, me and all the, the all of his buddies are kind of like, "You can't." You can't hit our friend who's in a wheelchair, right, you know? Sure. So it ends up being like a, almost like a cartoon scrap where there's like a big ball of dirt rolling, you know what <laughs> I mean? And it spills so out onto the street. So they're fighting the guy in the wheelchair? He, he was grabbing the okay, guy in the wheelchair, okay. and then okay. we jump on him. I think he had a couple friends. Next thing you know, we spill out into the street. This is uh, this is at uh, 30th and 3rd at Tonic, the Bar Tonic, which is okay. like the most oh, bridge yeah. and tunnel place ever. <laughs> yeah. uh, and like it, we spill out, and it's rolling in the street, and it's such a mess that – at one point, I'm in a headlock. I'm, someone's got me in a headlock, and I'm kind of like throwing punches. <laughs> and we realize it, that was my buddy. Me, like we ended up just like we everyone's that's just grabbing hysterical. everybody. To the point that my friend, but that's the guy in the wheelchair. In no, no, the guy in the okay. wheelchair ended up just <laughs> <laughs> another You're guy. You're hitting a guy in a, a fucking a, wheelchair. A, a, <laughs> but I remember being like. Uh, I gotta hang it up, man. Like we don't. Do, what are we doing here? We're fighting each other, like sure, in the streets. Sure. Uh, That's like the you know the action movie moment where the guys in the bar fight and they turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me ask you this: Where does the uh, inspiration for a film like Quasi come from? Like, yeah. what, what's the moment where you're like, you know, what we gotta do, we gotta do uh, Hunchback. We gotta <laughs> Hunchback do the Hunchback movie. movie you know? Uh, yeah. No, it was a long time ago. We were we were actually. It was when we were writing Super Troopers, and we were living here, and um, Lem, Lemmy uh, worked at uh, HMV Records, which you know, uh-huh. is no longer there anymore. Yeah. No, there are no record stores anymore. <laughs> right. But he, w- he worked at a record store. You know, we all had odd jobs or whatever. He worked on, up on uh, Upper East Side. And uh, how cliche, was, you know, it's like super a, yeah. aspiring comedian actor working in the record store. Yeah, and he would yeah. steal like you know, yeah. s- you know, CDs and yeah. then he'd take them Love home. He had <laughs> a CD collection. And, sure. And so there was some guy there that he worked with who was like in the jazz department or whatever, and and he like was this weird guy who kind of like talked <laughs> out of the side of his mouth, and he yeah. would tell him about you know the lonely weekend that he had because nobody likes him or whatever. And it's just like <laughs> let me start doing this guy as a character, you know, like he started doing like this guy like talking out of the side of his mouth, and we always thought it was a funny character. He would do it in like the right moment, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we started writing this character, and we were like, oh, how can we make that guy such a, f- a sad guy? And we put him in this position where he was like caught between the king and the pope and we thought it was really funny and so we just started writing that script and um that was you know 20 years ago wow and then we would put it away and you pull it out and there there'd be like jokes in there that didn't make sense anymore like Mm -hmm. but some of them remain like we have a we we have a mark gas no joke in this movie (laughs) and um (laughs) People watching out, who the fuck's Mark Gassino? Yeah. And like, well, I, you know, I know Mark Gassino, you know, but you know, that was a 1990s joke or 1980s joke or whatever it was. But anyway, that stuff's still in there. So we, we kept pulling it out. And then um, after we made Super Troopers 2, the studio was like, you know, what do you guys want to do next? And we're like, well, we have the script, you know. And they're like, how about Super Troopers 3? Yeah. Like, we have the script. <laughs> and, uh, and they're like, okay, okay. And they read it and they thought it was really funny, you know. It's just the. You know, it's you know Monty Python as it's very, it's very much Monty Python. Python. It's like you know, I was a huge Python guy too. Yeah, at a weird too, age, we like, I was like nine, like doing like the clapping, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. doing the black yeah, knight. Yeah. And, oh yeah, the knights are good. Yeah. I mean, we're, of the you know, we always wanted to do that, you know. And like you know, when we did sketches and stuff, you would put weird <coughs> wigs on and all that kind of stuff. What, was Monty Python like a part of? Oh like, yeah, specifically that a, an inspiration. But you yeah. can't. T- I mean, that's like the you know the, like the, the Beatles. Standard. You know, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. You, know, you can't touch that. You know, no. so whatever we try to do it, but you know, it's we said let's do this, and uh, we were shocked that they said yes. Yeah, because we're in, oh, like in wigs and doing like weird accents and that type of shit. But what it a pain was hysterical. It's got to be. The oh, it's horrible! Boy yeah. <laughs> Wait, think, who draw like you draw? Sh- uh, sh- he just wanted, that, that was his character. Yeah. Really? He wanted yeah. to do it, and then yeah. like he said, that wasn't as bad as he would have to walk as a hunchback. Yes, and, no, and that was the not. thing. And Ugh. I think it like fucked up his spine, I bet, <laughs> I bet, or his leg, or whatever. Turned into an actual hip. hunchback doing yeah. this shit. And uh, 
but I mean, you know, we, we would be on the set and you're like looking around and that dude's in like a Pope outfit and that's a, a King outfit. And you're like, holy shit, this is hysterical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, usually we're in whatever cop uniforms or firefighter uniforms or whatever it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, it was, you know, usually you're a stripper. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> it was shocking. It was shocking. So, I mean, it was great. What's the, what's the amount of acting? that Lemmy puts into learning how to walk like a hunchback. <laughs> I, I remember we had um, Juice from Sun, uh, Sunday Anarchy. Oh, Theo. Uh, Theo Rossi. Yeah, Rossi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he was talking about, I forget what movie he was promoting, but he was talking about how he learned to do a limp. And he like, took okay, him, like okay. weeks and like, mm-hmm. all this stuff. And we're like, dude, just put a rock in your shoe. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I'm dedicated to the craft. Yeah, Let yeah, rock me, in the yeah shoe? method acting when you got to turn into Quasimodo is, is <laughs> yeah. I don't a tough do that. one. He doesn't. I don't think Lemmy does that. Like he, they Lemmy better than me. Like he jokes about it. We did the movie Club Dread, and in it, I have a scene where um, I like do sword work, you know. And um, so they're like, "All right, we're gonna get you a martial arts expert to show you whatever." I was like, "Fuck that! Yeah, come on!" <laughs> and, I, and I just went out there like you know and did this shit. And, uh, <laughs> Whatever, it's kind of funny, you know. Yeah, yeah and, but those guys gave me shit of like, don't you care about your craft? Like, fuck that. We're making a comedy movie. Yeah, seriously. And so that's been kind of the vibe after that. It's like, we did get a guy to come in and do accent, uh, like a dialogue. Guy. Sure, yeah. that, that makes a little bit of sense. Which, you know, I can see it that. made a little bit of sense, but it kind of went out the window. It's like, so you're doing like, like halfway doing it. Yeah, like Chandler's like our. Every scene he's in, he does a different British accent. So like, <laughs> like in one of them, he's like Senator Palpatine or whatever from, yeah. from Star Wars, and one, you know, he's he's a Monty Python guy in another one, and That's whatever. Hilarious. So. The uh, the talking so about like the cares, yeah. yeah having like the karate guys or whatever come in, yeah, it, it like uh, it reminds you of like who was it? Fucking, um, I forget his name. John Wick. <laughs> I'm gonna see that tonight. Um, the uh, but who else said it? Anthony Hopkins also said it, where he doesn't act. But I can't think of the acting person uh, that was like, uh, uh, have you tried acting? Oh, oh that, that was Olivia. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. The Marathon yeah. Man. Yeah, and, that's, um, yeah. that's, that's been like, a hot topic for a couple of years, but certainly right now I feel like Brian Cox talked about it again because yeah. his co-star is like a maniac. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. like, fuck that shit. Mm, yeah. He's like, go back to your trailer and smoke a joint. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Cox <laughs> is uh, He's yeah. awesome. It is like Daniel Day-Lewis does that too, where it's mm. like... Uh, uh, you like it's like it's not acting anymore. You just became it. Yeah, That's it's, more, it's yeah. way like, more. Impressive you're not an actor. You're a black belt. It's, yeah, yeah. I, it's like I, I'm impressed that you're so dedicated. You made your actual life about this. But it's way more impressive to me if you can go. I'll be this guy. I'll be this guy. I'll be yeah. this guy. You know, like you can just flip a switch. That to me is like acting. But yeah, yeah. And also, like, I mean, think about it, like we have five dudes. Like you get made of fun of so hard if you take it too seriously. Oh my god. Yeah. You just, yeah. I can't even and imagine for you whatever guys. it is. I mean, if like somebody did that shit, you're like, oh, are you fucking getting a dialect coach? Yeah. <laughs> you know? right. Oh, you need that's, a karate you know guy? That <laughs> that's exactly it. Those guys, yeah. God bless them, and I'm sure they do great work. Those guys don't have their buddies. They don't have yeah. friends. Uh, they certainly don't have them on that. set. Probably, and they, yeah. they probably don't have the right guys in their life, in their life to be like, you fucking loser! Yeah. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna become oh, a yeah. black belt for yeah. Club Dread. Yeah. What do you? Why don't you just go out there and do this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, were, yeah. we were having a, a debate about like the most embarrassing things to get caught doing um, the other day. <laughs> using a bu- using a bubbler was one. Like using a water okay. fountain, you come okay. up like a little messy and shit. But one I thought of on the walk here for some reason. Uh, the where, most embarrassing thing to get caught doing is bettering yourself. In, in any way, <laughs> Tr- trying. Yeah. You're trying. Dude, like, what you, a fucking yeah, loser. I, I, I've said before, like like early Barstool days, like it, I would get like under my desk to just take my daily multivitamin. <laughs> <laughs> you take Which a vitamin. Is bullshit. I mean, you know, like but that's the 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 culture, right? That's yeah. the, we used I mean, to call it the house stupid, of pain. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the house of pain because you. Just get shit on. We're gonna find we're getting his yeah. vitamin D and fucking yeah. idiot. But, but if a, I was Keanu Reeves. <laughs> And I'm going to do that movie. I'm, I will learn how to use right, those right. guns and how yeah, to do yeah. that thing, you know. But we're making a comedy movie. There, yeah, there right. was a time at, at Barstool. Now, some people get some money and, and a little bit of fame and they want to dress right and look right sure. and be cool and all that. There was a time, though, he's always been pretty fashion forward while the rest of us were Good not. For you. Good for and you. Yeah, they're when I, and when I, But when I say fashion forward, like, he came to work. Wearing a scarf, okay. and we were like, okay. "Dang, this guy's a loser!" <laughs> no, dude, the the worst one was I wore a raincoat. A raincoat. 
raincoat. Kevin, I'm not talking about like, like sure. I'm not talking about like uh, I was looking on the deadliest catch. I wore a waterproof jacket on a day it was raining. Sure, <laughs> like a black jacket. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like black you are a bright, such yellow. a loser. You should kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. like, what are you trying to prevent <laughs> getting we, wet? I'm like we yeah, had through every rain. you know every series of things. Like I remember when the first. Uh, Jay Chandrasekhar, the first time we saw him use a cell phone. <laughs> like, oh, you pussy with a cell phone? Are you kidding me? And he took it. We were at Sundance. He, like, he was talking to somebody about business, and he had a cell phone. He, he went and hid in a bush because <laughs> he didn't want anybody to see him use it. This is like 1998. He was, he was, he was, he was, like, gave him shit. Oh, look at you. And anything, us, you know? anything you can but get an edge it, on. It, it, went to, it got to a head for him, though. He, we made fun of him so hard. Super Troopers 2. We were shooting in Massachusetts. And he was away from his family or whatever, and they came out and visited. They brought the dog with him, and so it's a, he has a little dog. Uh, and so yeah. there's one scene Getting cutesy where, bootsy with yeah, your like puppy. He, yeah. while he was directing, like he had the dog <laughs> in his <laughs> fucking hand as he's directing, you know. And it was like um, Mike Myers and Austin Doc Powers, yeah, 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 yeah. And we just we it was relentless, just <laughs> ripping. Him. And whatever he was happy to see his dog. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we should have been nicer guys. Right. Yeah. Is that the way Yo, you're experiencing happiness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me fix you. that real quick. Yeah, it's like let me make fun of me for because I've had the same clothes for 25 years. But the second I get a new piece of clothes, he gives me shit for yeah. it. Yeah, I, mean, you know? I like that, but it, like you know the. Fashion will go this way and then come back that yeah. way, and you just go right in the middle. That's <laughs> just right. Stay right in the middle the whole time. That's why I still have an AOL account. Yeah. Right? Like it's it's going to come back around. <laughs> My mom still has an AOL account, and it's like, it, it's a borderline inappropriate name now. Like, at AOL.com? Yeah. Like, what, do you, what do you mean inappropriate? Not, we'll, we'll beep her email address, but it's her email address because this is when she was, when my brother was young, he had a paper route. Okay. And, um, like, you know, he was like, Eight, whatever he was, he did and not have a paper route at eight. Whatever it, it was, like <laughs> he's the worst with ages. It was. He'll be like, you know, he was, he was, was driving 13. a car at, at he seven. Was, I'm gonna text. I'm gonna text my mom while we do this. Uh, the he would so, but like she had to do it. So like it was uh, right. Okay, like, like he was okay, so young. Okay, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, they, like yeah, yeah. my mom and my dad would wake up and drive him on his paper route. Right, right. Wow. Talk about <laughs> yeah. parents. Like I'd be like, guess what? We're not doing anymore. It's like you know, take and, care uh, of your dog, your kid's dog. So, yeah. so her email address was paper girl. Girl at okay. AOL.com. Which was which was our address. Paper girl. Like at AOL.com. Polly the, Polly the paper girl. Let's and go. she still uses it today. Is that right? I, I get email. Like, she has another one now that she uses for, like, I mean, she doesn't have a job, but, like, like yeah, yeah. And, but, like, like when I get emails from my mom, they're from paper girl. Do you remember that, the AOL. acronym, the, the, the club she worked for? Oh, the no. The old ladies in the sea thing? No. It was, it was just, my, my mom moved to, like, the country and is just so bored. What's the country? Like, like, like they live in Westport, Mass, which okay. is, like, there's, like, beaches and, and farms sure, sure, sure. and shit like that. And uh, they, they, she has nothing to do. She's okay. so impossibly bored. And so, <laughs> why don't you get a new email address? That'd be, that'd be exciting thing for her to do. So she, she fucking joined this club called like, like Old Women Fishing for Trash or something like that. <laughs> and they just go. And she's not that old. Like she's, I think she does it to feel better about okay. how old the women actually are. She's sure. like, yeah, I'm in this. She she's like, do. She's here. 16. It is here. It is. It's a. Uh, <laughs> old ladies against underwater garbage. <laughs> okay, so Olag. O, o, yeah, Ola, okay. Olag or whatever. And she goes but and she like oh, swim underwater lakes with like goggles oh, on. Old like come up with like yeah. tires and shit. Look at, look at, the, look at these broads. The, like, the these old, she's, these hardened broads from you know another era just on the kayak. Well, that's good. They go and clean yeah. up uh, yeah. you know, dirty uh, oceans. Like, yeah. It's just... But mm. un, and look at them pulling out tires yeah, and shit. Yeah. That's pretty nice. There's, there's like, you know... Uh, Size of a football field off the coast of LA. Do you guys think you'll just do this until you're, you know, shitting in your diapers? Yeah. I think so. Like, we keep trying to figure out, like, what um, different scripts we have to write in order to, like, as you get older, you know, yeah. like, what you can do. It's like, because we'll, cause they want to make Super Trooper straight. I'm like, okay, but, like, who's that? The studio? The studio, you guys? Yeah, the studio, yeah. Well, you know, so do we. I mean, we have, we've written some, uh, a few drafts of it, but it's like, how far? How long can you go? Have you ever thought about just doing Fast and the Furious? Like, let's just make ten of them. <laughs> Seriously, though. No. Like, what? You know, like I think. Sure. I think, I think there was a time where some people at Hollywood kind of got stuck up about, like, you know, the art form, and yeah. we got to diversify and show you can do this and that. And then there are guys who do 
Fast and Furious and Olympus Has Fallen and these things yeah, were like yeah, yeah. Kevin's listening my favorite movies yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. let's just run it back and do it forever and make a boatload of money and have a ton of fans and, yeah, I mean, and every time you get more and more silly but they didn't want to take yourself the studio didn't want to oh, oh really many years. that's why we well, did the we did a crowdfunding thing for the second one that's right, oh, right. that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, we so tried to make in. it yeah well that was a thing like they they hmm. said no no Funny no, no, that no. Works. and then we did the crowdfunding thing and we raised like 5 million bucks in 24 hours jeez and before that they were like just why don't you do it on your own don't mention our names and then we raised 5 million bucks and the next day they were like you can say our name <laughs> and then what a it of- delivered and then they were like let's make another one Dude. And, and, and I know that's Dude, how it that works. Like the, uh, and, you, and you're like, let's yeah, just yeah. go make the money yeah. and do the movie. And everyone's happy, but it should be like, fuck you, we're going to the other. <laughs> it guys, should be, you know, the, be, the yeah. uh, Marilyn Monroe. If you can't handle me, my crowdfund me. You don't deserve me. <laughs> 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 go fund me, whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, I I think you guys should just run it forever, man. I I, I would. I mean, I I, don't, I you know we talked about it. First of all, Brian Cox, how long can he go? Until he, until, and, uh, until he's, until he can't. We talk I mean, about he's him, still right? an animal. But, yeah. But like, when we shot two, he was like, you know, I don't work after dark. And we're like, what do you mean? <laughs> he's like, don't write me in any night scenes. You know, it's like, it's like, okay. And so I remember we shot one scene with him and we made it the easy, it, we, it was like, Brian, it's like, it has to be nighttime for the scene. He's like, no. And like, uh, we'll make it super easy. And he's like, okay. So his scene, like he had to shoot at like nine thirty. We dr- waited to the last second, drove to his hotel, picked him up, brought him to the set, and he was there for about a half an hour. And he was fucking furious. <laughs> he was fur- like like Logan Roy. He's like, "Fuck you, fuck this, fuck you." You know, you're like. And it could, we couldn't have been, I thought, more accommodating. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but he was pissed. But, it, but that's because, you know, he's like, I don't work after night. You know? and, so, like, now we're, we write the third one, and you're like, well, fuck, we can't write anything at nighttime with Brian in it, you know? The whole movie <laughs> just occurs during the day. Yeah. And then, like, when do we start doing that, you know? I'm like, I don't work at night. <laughs> you know? how, how hard is it to do, because we've started trying to do our own little sketch stuff here, and, like... I never realized, and it's stupid, I should have, how important, like, the vibes are before yeah. to do something funny. Yeah. Like, like I, I can't imagine having Brian Cox angry and then being <laughs> like, all right, it's time to be funny now. Like, we almost just scrapped the whole shoot the other day just because, like, we were all, we had to drive out to Long Island and it took a while or take the train out to Long Island and we just, like, someone was late and, like, no one was feeling it. We're like, well, maybe let's just go home. Like, yeah. like we're not ready <laughs> oh, to be Oh, funny. the sketch guys are becoming divas <laughs> out here. No, I the think, vibes aren't right. I think no, it's I know, the opposite exactly where it's like, mean. how are we going to yeah. be funny right now? Like, yeah. we're all at each other's throats. Right. Yeah. How hard is it to, like, flip that, like, it's kind of like what we were talking about with you know other acting things where you, you know can, just acting, but like it's I even like doing a podcast, comedy, it's man. Sometimes really. like you don't want to do yeah. a podcast, it's the yeah. shittiest podcast in the world because yeah. you're just like shut no, up, who cares, you know? Yeah. But and you're like, fighting, 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 or whatever. And then the microphone goes on. Or yeah, whatever. that happens all the time, though. I mean, but but you know, first of all, it's the money of it, right? So like when it's like you know, when We've someone's paying paycheck. millions of bucks, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you're like fuck, I can't fuck yeah. that up. You right, know right, right. Get over your little squabble and fucking act. Yeah, but also it's like you know. Like we're talking about, it's like five dudes you went to school with. So it's like it's never real. Like we could have the worst fight in the world, and then the next day it doesn't You're fine. matter. Yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't even need to be like discussed, yeah. right? But I mean, I could see like you know if there's bad blood or something's toxic or whatever it starts going downhill, you know. But we've never really had that problem because we kind of insulate ourselves from it a yeah. little bit, you know. Mm. But I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's way worse than a drama or. Sure, you know, something like that. Then. But at least drama, you, you want attention, so you're, I guess so. Yeah, you're yeah, already yeah. like yeah. you're kind of going so. for that. Like, but I don't think I've ever. I can't do this. Today. Like we never. I don't care. We've ever. Done I've that. read that uh, the uh, Kevin Costner on on Yellowstone. Yellowstone, yeah. Like as the show got more and more successful, his his demands and his scheduling, you know, went from like we'll shoot like six months out of the year yeah. down to like 90 days and like his latest request. And I think the reason they're splitting was that he, he, he said, I'll give you five days to shoot the season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I read that. Like, uh, I don't know. But it's kind of true. Like, did you, have you watched Yellowstone? Yeah. 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 Like, I feel like the first seasons was less Costner. Like they would use Costner 
you know, every Sparingly. once in a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, like, yeah. then this last one, he's like the governor or whatever yeah, it totally. is. And you're like, I, you know, in when, his when, mind, he's probably like, fuck, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this shit. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, you know he's, he's getting, he's in a gunfight in the streets. Yeah. And like, and you you're know. like, wait, and then I know they jumped the shark or whatever. But you're like, yeah, I no, mean, it, he's probably like, oh man, I didn't sign up for this shit. Well, <laughs> you know, how funny is that? I'm sure you're at an age, you get to an age where it's like, it's awesome that all of a sudden you're on a hit show. Yeah. But then you're also on a hit show. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was planning on doing a small screen thing for one season. Next thing you know, you got to do six. It's like, yeah. oh, you know, champagne problems. But it is something to think yeah. about. Yeah, I mean, but like, you know, he's got probably whatever other projects he wants to do or whatever. But that's a fucking money machine. That oh, yellow buddy. stuff. And so, like, you know, those, the creators and stuff, they don't want to lose him or lose that situation. I, I read yesterday or a couple of days ago that, like, Paramount Plus is very confident in helping back. Oh, yeah? They're yeah, going to work it out? But whatever. they got yeah, fucking 10 others. I mean, I, I've watched all of them, too. Yeah, I watched yeah. 1883 and 1923. I've it's watched all years shit. now. It's yeah. just going to be, yeah. you know, and, you know name it, year they'll do it. It's good. You know, I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, there's not in any of it. It's like, uh, it's just like cowboys, you know? Yeah. It's like you can make a, just, yeah. those have been cool forever. But like, they, put Harrison Ford in it. Put Sam Elliott in it. Yeah. It's McConaughey. Yeah. Do you think that there will be a, like, what's the modern equivalent? of cowboys like a hundred years from now will people make a movie being like maybe maybe it's gangster they, they, films, they were uh they yeah. were silicon we were, valley men you know yeah, yeah. Like, it just doesn't seem to have the it same might be like gangster movies i we guess we were so, talking yeah. about gangster movies the other day uh i i never seen sopranos and i'm watching it now what? and what okay. i don't understand i can't i can't grasp is why that became aspirational for like a generation like why people grew up and there are so many people now still who are like I'm a gay, so I'm an Italian guy. Like, right. like they don't live well. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's not like sure. At, like, even when you're doing the gunfights and selling drugs and all this stuff, like you think at the end of the day, I guess you could argue Tony Soprano's house is nice. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's not. not like, it's not like he's living shit, lavish. Yeah. This is what you get. Most of them live in like two deckers. It's about the like, familia, like, John. Like, like it is, but it's also the same way the fucking cowboy. I mean, the if you watch really 83, it's like smallpox yeah. and yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. 83, this is 19 and 2000. True. True. Like, True. I, I said, just go work at Fidelity. You'll have a better life. Like, you're not True. risking life and limb. And, and if you don't greet someone the right way, you're not risking disrespect. It's the adrenaline, bro. Skit. It's the adrenaline. Uh, you know, having like the AJ Soprano yeah. of the skit. Don't just go work for Fidelity. Dad, I don't want to do it. I'm selling insurance. Leave me alone. Uh, have you guys watched Tulsa King? No, no I, I started it the other day, good. and I heard, yeah, I like, just wasn't able to. I that, the first I was shocked. The first episode of Sly just like rolling into Tulsa and yeah. dominating the scene, yeah. robbing those guys. Well, and the thing is, like, barking Stallone, out orders. Like you forget, like you know, in the movies, and you, you don't see, he doesn't say much, or you know, whatever in a lot of these movies. But this Tulsa King, he's in every fucking scene, mm. and he's having sex with women, you know, whatever it is. And you're like, holy shit, this is fine. So and I still do. He's up there in age too, isn't he? Yeah, he's like seventy five. They they yeah. lean into it. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm seventy five years old. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you sleeping with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's wow. a scene when he, he gets, he, you know, he did like twenty five years, and he kept his mouth shut the whole time, and then he gets on the outside, and they they don't really reward him, and he flips tables and he's yeah. screaming and he's you know it's, and they lean into like he's got the fucking shitty like weird haircut yeah. and the he's, yeah, he's, and the tan you know what yeah. I mean and, but they I don't know they do it well what, what was your uh, like when you were growing up what were your movies that were like or, or actors or whatever who were your I would say like those like all those kind of Landis movies and whatever like Blues Brothers and mm. you know Animal House and, and and those things were definitely like the movies that we watched or you know and like you guys Eddie were making Murphy movies and, and TV and scripts and from the beginning or were you doing stand up uh, were you doing like we were doing sketch sketch and so and we started doing sketch um, like videos you mm -hmm. know and um, and then um, it was kind of like we were here in New York it was kind of that era of like Kevin Smith mm -hmm. and. Um, Richard Rodriguez and, and Linklater, Robert Rodriguez and Richard Linklater. And those guys were making those, you know, low budget movies. Mm -hmm. that, and, and so we went in that direction mm -hmm. and we started making movies that way. When you were doing sketches, where were like live sketch comedies? Yeah, like, we were here. Were putting, we were, yeah, 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 we were like. Um, Was there anywhere you were putting it out for consumption? Uh, you mean in terms of like out on the. Yeah. No, yeah, no. It was, it, was, so it was just live here. I mean, it was, you know, that was 93, right over it. So. We would do wherever we could get space downtown. Like usually, it would be like a cabaret club, like in the village mm -hmm. or something like that. These know? guys just started a sketch show. One episode oh, really? was out, and we Barstool has always been more, never been scripted, just podcasts or videos, just off the cuff. Yeah, and this is by far our best. Uh, and you're shooting them. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But do, do you have like a, a set, or are you like shooting stuff in locations? No, like maybe a house or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but but goddamn, it came out so fucking funny. And I think I think the first one, most of the apartment. Yeah. And the sky is the limit for stuff like that. When you get the right guys together, yeah. and the right vibe, and the right writing, and the right premises, and who's and, all and who's paying for? It? Like Barstool puts up some dough for it, or um. Or are you paying it's, out I mean, it's, it's super low budget. You're not allowed yeah. to discuss that. It, it, yeah. it, no, well, no, it's just more yeah. that no one's putting money into it, and it'll probably never make a dollar. <laughs> but it's the funniest fucking thing Well, you have the platform put out there. to put it out. I mean, yeah. you're right. It, I mean, it, you it, got no, the no, don't get me wrong. It should make some money, <laughs> yeah. and and it's it was... At Barstool, even the most popular people put things out, and there's a huge group of fans. Like, Fuck sure. This. You hate it. This was like 99% a positive response. I've oh, never great. seen anything like it on the internet. You know, there's always people who hate and they, the, like it was so well received. It was so funny. It was like three skits, 10 or 12 minutes, 12, 11 minutes, whatever it was like awesome. And it just opened like my eyes. And I think a lot of people's eyes to like, wow, this and is... do you have someone who's shooting it and editing yeah, it? Yeah. We have like, I can't see who's guys, back there. I think it's right Paz right back okay. there. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, all right. Yeah. We have, yeah, we got, we have, uh, they're faking it. They don't know what they're doing. But it came <laughs> out. It's fun though. Well, I mean, great, fuck it. I mean, know? we learned as we went along, like, yeah. we, you know, when we shot the first stuff, it was like a VHS camera, you know, like one of those the big, big fucking ones that you have in your thing. You put the tape in, you know, and then you, you would edit tape to tape, like a VCR to VCR tape. You know what I mean? And we're like, oh. And we would just edit, you know, whatever, three-minute sketches so that we could change our costumes between, you know, in the live show, you know? I think there's something to that. Like, anytime you just have an idea of, like, wouldn't it be funny if yeah. the boss said this mm -hmm. and did that? It's like, let's just do a, a But you got to – the hard, the thing is to rally to do it. That's the hard thing. Yeah. Because right? yeah. it takes longer than you think, mm -hmm. and it takes longer than you think to edit it. And then you gotta do fucking sound, whatever it is. You yeah. know, what I mean, there's so many elements to it. Particularly with this, where it's like our, it's everyone who's on doing it. It's like everyone's fourth job. Yeah, that like a it's little passion to, project to get everyone together. But it is fun too because it is like, um, you know, you kind of always talk about like the old days and you reminisce about doing the shows in the village and yeah, yeah, yeah. when things were like harder. And once you make it, you kind of don't really get that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like everything's kind of taken yeah. care of. And this, like, we're doing a shoot in Long Island the other day, and like. We got we're doing it, the scene was in a car and we're like we got cameras taped up with like duct tape and we got socks shoved under them to get the angle. Right, right. <laughs> right. Love that. People are like taking off their socks like shit. That one, yeah, shit, that I one. need another one. Take your shoe off, man. Oh yeah, but the, that's, that's the that's fucking the, fun the stuff. Great that's what you yeah. remember. That's yeah. awesome because we are at a point here where you know again champagne problems, but yeah. it's like a little more corporate, a little bit more big media. And to get back to some of that, that's where it's really fun. It's stressful. Oh, totally. Fun, but totally. Oh, yeah. It's fun to look back and be like, that was hilarious. Like, but I still tell all those stories anyway now. It's like I, I was walking around with my kids the other day. Like we're down. We used to sneak into. We had a guy sneak us into NYU in Tisch in, in the yeah, film yeah. school at like one o'clock in the morning so that we could use their edit stuff for free. See, that's awesome. You know that's what I mean? Like, like the dude who's a student like, get us in there. And they got us in there. And we would be editing in there at night. And then one night we got caught. Like, who are you guys? Uh, nobody, you know, and then yeah. you fucking run away. And that's <laughs> Love it. it. And it's, you know, and it's a good, it's, it's a good that's experience, great. a fun story or whatever. You, know? you guys ever think about uh, almost like a biography in a way? Like the, telling the broken lizard yeah, story? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I, like uh, one of the guys, Jay, wrote a book recently and um, he t tells a bunch of the stories. But we give him shit because his memory's bad. So like, <laughs> you know. Did he not like, consult you guys on any of this shit? It's funny, he did. Like, he's like, he gave it to me. He's like, you know, when they're in the, what are they called, the galleys or whatever. He's like, you read my book and tell me if I'm off on anything. And I was like, I read it. I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> and I, so I typed out notes and I gave them back to him. And he's like, ah, thanks. I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> but, you know. This was, was like, a, this was a courtesy. I was like, you fucking had me read your book. <laughs> and I went through and checked and made sure it was 1998 instead of 94, whatever it was. And he's like, ah, you know. It's my truth. <laughs> yeah. It's my truth. I think Audrey Hepburn said, don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I, I, my truth. I, I, if you wrote this, if, if everybody here at Barstool wrote the book of Barstool, yeah. it would be 10 different, different books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 everyone everyone radically different books. <laughs> yeah. Be like, is this the same company? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Same time, same company, same people. And it happens now when we go around promoting we were and there's five of us and, you know, somebody will tell a story and like, that's not with the way it fucking nah, yeah. right, <laughs> I mean, right. and you know sometimes you just keep your mouth shut and you're like oh he's telling the wrong story you know, whatever <laughs> is, but, yeah. so you guys just divide and conquer on this kind of shit uh, sometimes yeah I, mean, I think we're gonna meet up um, they, get, they have like a we're gonna do a little tour where we're gonna do like five or six cities with screenings mm, cool and so that'll start next week um, cause it's kinda weird like you know now it's the streaming world you know like we made the deal for this movie you know in the middle of the pandemic when mm -hmm. there was no 
theater, you mm -hmm. know? And so now it's going to be a Hulu film. And so uh, you don't get that experience of sitting in a movie theater with a crowd. I get that. I totally understand you know what I mean? that. But I, I'm more of a homebody. And so the world going that direction, so am I. I love, you know? Well, that's what they said, though. It's like, you know, you guys... You know, what, how do you feel about this? Because you know, the, the company Searchlight, they're a very theatrical company. You know, mm -hmm. we're like, we're like, it seems like it's the way of the world. And for us, nobody fucking watched Super Troopers in the movie theater, mm -hmm. right? You know, or it's, Beer Fest or whatever. Right. They watch it with their buddies Getting and they watch it in the living room or whatever. Like, yeah. And so you learn that that's unless you're doing your you know Avatar, fucking Top Gun. Yeah, maybe you need the IMAX or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Is, I mean, is there a lack? Is there like, do you like miss something with that? Like we, we were talking to Russell Crowe yesterday, and he was talking yeah. about. Master Commander and Nice Guys and how they didn't really find their legs until long after they left the years. Nice Guys pretty quickly, I think. But, yeah. Um, Master Commander is like until very recently. Yeah. Like I are, like that movie. It's a great movie. Everybody yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, are, would you, If you could only pick one, would you rather be fam popular mm. in like... It's hard. Because it, then it gets kind of that... I guess I think more people see it in, in this kind of... In their living rooms, yeah. you yeah. know? But there's nothing... I mean, you know... The same way it is going to see, you know, whatever, John Wick or or whatever. There's something nice about sitting with 300 people laughing at the same yeah. time. Yeah. There's just something nice about that, mm -hmm. you know. Comedy it's, do, I think. Yeah, is comedy is great like that. Yeah. But then at the same time, there's something great about, you know, five guys in the living room who are high watching your movie. I mean, it's yeah, the same yeah. thing, eating dried mango. You know, <laughs> so like, you know I, I think <clears throat> there's, you know, there's When, good when people both. say cult classic, do you like that? Yeah, I, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I think that means like you watch it a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know so I mean? do I. I you watch like, it more than once. I feel like some people almost, it's like a backhanded thing in a way. I'm like, no, I think it's a yeah. great. No, thing. I, I, I like that. I, yeah. I, you know, I think that's kind of where we live. So. I think, I think most cult classics are no longer cult classics. Yeah. Which I think is a compliment too. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've yeah, gotten just... so popular that they're not. They're they're super mainstream. It's not right. a cult yeah. classic. Yeah. But the people who see it still think of themselves as like the only person who loves it. So it's like, <laughs> like that it's indie. Like, yeah, there's it. millions yeah. of well, people watching or, or yeah. song. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But cult classics are also, you know, different eras. You know, it's like you know people whatever age you started watching those movies. You know, those are your cult classics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, whether yeah, I'd, I'd have Holy Grail as a, as a cult classic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that <laughs> I think massive, it is. I mean, yeah. but that's you know that's traditional success. low budget yeah. you know movie. That's that, really what it's more about yeah. is that it feels like it's you know. Broken Lizard is just yeah. like a crew of guys, yeah. friends who got making, together you know, and made it happen. Making the movies. Is this your first time directing? Like, I directed what, uh, a movie, um, uh, what was it, maybe 10 years ago for Broken Lizard. Because Chandra Sekar usually directs, and he had another movie. I made a movie called Slam and Salmon. And then uh, this is the second Broken Lizard one. And then I've, I've been doing, uh, I've directed like about half of the Tacoma FD show. Oh, shit, have you? So, yeah, so. Is that, is that always something you wanted, like to kind of move? Not it's you're fun. not moving behind the camera because you're also on the other side of it. I don't, I, I like it. it it's kind of barking weird, out. Like, are you a uh, a barker? Yeah, are you you know. Uh, in a you nice way. You and I are done professionally. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, I don't do that. <laughs> no. I think in a nice way I am. I mean, yeah. I like like Lemmy makes fun of me. I like the I like the trains to run on time. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So there's you know there's a little bit of that, but I think that, yeah. you know I also love a loose set. Like I love improv. Yeah. And so you know here's the script, but let it go. Yeah, if you're like if you're like too much of a too bitchy or whatever, mean, it's not a good vibe for them. Right. You know what I mean, you want people to feel like they're comfortable and sure. having a good time or whatever. So I think on our show, we do that a lot. Um, but it's also like, it's gotten to the thing where you're kind of older and like, I don't have to explain things. Like when we write stuff or, and someone else directs it, you have to explain them. Hey, this is what we meant. And this right. is what I want to do. Yeah. You know, or like it's, you got to know this the, is the broken joke. lizard style of yeah. humor. And yeah. like, you're like, you know, we meant the joke to mean this. So try doing, you know, and then it just, you end up having all these conversations, and yeah. so now you're like, ah, fuck it. You just yeah, do yeah. it. Yourself. You just do it. We, yeah. we, you know, we train people to be like cameramen and editors and stuff here, yeah. almost in a very different way. Where it's like, sometimes we've hired outside camera crews, yeah, and they're like, okay, we got to get the wide shot, and it's like, no, 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 put it on Dave's face right now because yeah, yeah. he's about to flip out because yeah. we know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you really got to know like the group and all that, and you guys have that together. I feel like with Broken Lizard, yeah. the same way where it's like. That's not the funny part. This is the funny part. And, yeah. And, you know, you can just cut right to the chase. And you can be like, oh, do it like that time. You know, whatever. Yeah. Like, remember on the set back that? in. Or yeah. yeah. That's and awesome. I I've, love that. Or, like, we'll reference, like, a line from one of our old movies. Do it like that. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then like, they'll do that. And then you just know what you're talking about. I think so, every industry has that. I remember when I first moved to New York when we were, I was, like, 21. And I, we, like, I was an intern here and, like, we weren't making any money. And I was like, well, I have to make money. So I'm going to bartend at night. And I went yeah, to yeah. bartending school. 
And then yeah. every bar I went to, they're Cocktail like, no, bar. we don't take bartenders from bartending school. Really? Because really? like, we want you to do it our way, not that mm. way. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, okay. I, I never ended up bartending at all until one, one night Kevin got me a job, and that was it. Oh, I was the best, really? man. I, he lost money on the gig. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, got a, a job in a bar? Kevin got me, like, it was it was early, early, early bar stool. Yeah. And uh, it was Tin Lizzy on the Upper West Side. He said. Uh, East Side, East Side, my bad. Lizzie yeah. was uh, yeah, yeah. the <laughs> best shithole in the world, but my God. It was owned by a bunch of guys. I don't think any of them what were street? over 30. It was on 88th okay. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, Lex or 2nd, 3rd. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, at the time, like four or five, like 25-year-old guys owned it. Okay. It was strictly to get laid. They gave away all their booze. <laughs> I remember one time uh, I met my ex-wife there, and I was like, hey, like uh, – you know, I'll get you like free drinks or whatever. And she was like, "Yeah, so do we, and so do they, and so do they." Like <laughs> nobody here is paying for anything, tough guy. You know, but yeah. So he he was desperate for some money. So I was like, "Can can my buddy guest bartend?" And looking back on it, they were like, "He needs to wear all black." I was like, "He could fucking come with no pants on yeah. at Tin Lizzie. It wouldn't matter." Yeah. But in order to go out, he bought the black outfit, and that and he made less money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you paid that. big bucks for your black outfit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I got like, a pair of black jeans and a black t-shirt, and I made 15 bucks. Uh, you probably wore it again, though, man, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> you're robbing a building. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> your black outfit on. Well, it's awesome to see you guys still all together doing it. It's uh, I don't know if there's many people in Hollywood who, uh, who can, you know. I mean, you guys just seem like normal yeah. fucking people yeah, throughout yeah, all yeah. these years, and it doesn't doesn't seem like it's changing so it's yeah, cool to it's see it's fun it's fun to uh to know that you've been with those guys for a long time mm -hmm. whatever and we've you know we used to live in the same apartments here you know all five guys in one apartment and now we really? all, wow. know, have families and shit but yeah. you know we're still doing it so. are your kids into this stuff are they into it yeah like the movies like are they, well i put them in this movie actually they're, oh, in, cool. they're in this movie uh but uh they are you know i they kind of do their own thing mm -hmm. uh, you know i i uh you kind of work in the business. And you're like, I wouldn't want my kids to. Totally, do I get this. that for sure. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't then, want my kids on social media or yeah. the, you know doing any of this. And so, like, you know, you see the kid actors or whatever, and then they're lucky because you know, I I put them in this. I gave them little parts in our TV show, and it's people. It's like Uncle whatever. You know, it's like mm -hmm. all the crew is our crew. It's been always our crew. The the yeah, actors yeah, are the, our guys. Yeah, yeah, that's very, so it's like you know. Yeah. That's the guy who was at the barbecue on Memorial yeah. Day weekend. You know, they that's know amazing. everybody. You know, so it's like right. it's not that weird industry thing. But they, I don't know if they would pursue it. But you know, very cool. We'll see. Awesome, man. Well, Quasi is out. When is it? Four twenty. Four twenty. Four twenty. Get your mangies ready. Get, <laughs> get sixty <laughs> servings of mangoes. Yeah, and, and your friends and, and get ready. So hundred baby chickens must die. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, brother. You so much. Yeah, it, thank you. Thanks for having Tell me. Tell Lemmy, by the way, I still don't. Have I a, will uh, a. Um, Bidet. Remember he was pushing bidet. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, still yeah, 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 yeah. he still is. He still is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had it in his trailer in Quasi. No <laughs> way. He put a bidet in his trailer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's on your rider? A bidet. A, no, it is. He's like, he knows the transpo guy. He's like, put the bidet in my trailer. <laughs> yeah, you got it, buddy. It's like you're some big you know, fucking tattoo dude. You're like, put that bidet in my trailer. You got it, pal. Sure thing, he boss. He does it all the time. It's stupid. All right, big thanks for watching. If you made it through this whole episode, that means you should be subscribed. There's so many of you out there who watch and don't subscribe, so make sure you are a KFC Radio subscriber. Make sure you get all the content when it drops. Click that button now. I have nine fingers. I'm still subscribed. It's that easy.